Today marks one year since a wind-fueled wildfire destroyed more than 2,200 homes and killed 102 people on Maui. Some are spending the anniversary still helping people recover. Fox 5 sent crews to the fire when it broke out, and we've been back since things to, to monitor how things are going. Our Joe Vigil traveled to Maui in November and reports on how one man from Las Vegas continues to help those who lost everything. We have told you about Savage. He left Las Vegas last October for Maui to do whatever he could to help people who lost everything in the fire. On this one year anniversary, he is still there. Good morning and God bless Napili Noho. This is your friendly neighborhood Savage bringing you high energy and aloha. It may be hard to top the enthusiasm of Savage when it comes to his commitment to community. Fox 5 first met up with him in November at the Nepali distribution site, a camp spontaneously set up not far from the burn zone in Lahaina to help people who lost everything in the fire. Savage's church here in Las Vegas said it was sending a team and told him to pray whether he should go. He did and has lived in a tent at this site from day one in all kinds of weather. We just talked to him this week about his extended stay. Oh man, it, it's it's surreal. Um, yeah, I was I was supposed to be here five days. About ten months later, he says the work hasn't let up. In fact, things may be busier. Many sites like this have shut down, meaning the number of families helped by the Nepali NoHo has jumped from about 150 families a day to 220. This is a look at current operations, which don't include those families. The site has always protected their privacy after what people have been through. The PTSD is real. And while the site has provided many necessities for months, Savage says those working here are also a loving face and listening ear. You know, I let our volunteers know that you know, we're here for far beyond the resources. We're here to spread love and aloha. We're here to uplift and encourage, you know, as, as folks move forward. Savage tells us the site will now move and be rebuilt, focusing mainly on food. He has committed to stay on until that move is completed, expected around November. After that, it's unclear when his time on Maui will end. Savage will do what he always does when big decisions must be made, pray. In the meantime, he wanted to say hi to everyone back home. My church, my church awaken in Las Vegas. God bless family. I miss you all so much. I don't know when I'm gonna see you again, hopefully soon. The distribution site was closed on Thursday for the one year anniversary. Uh, Savage attended a paddle out ceremony in the ocean to remember those impacted by the fire. Now back to you. And there are still ways to help people in Lahaina. You can find more information under this story on our website, fox5vegas.com.